What's up guys, James here from Exoforma. I wanted to make a video today talking to you guys about the difference between a cutting compound and a polish. What the difference is in the liquids and when you want to do each process. So first let's talk about the difference in the liquid. They're essentially the same thing. Both a cutting compound and a polish are filled with abrasives that when you put them on a pad that's rotating around the surface of the paint, is taking off little pieces of the clear coat. The main difference is the size of the abrasives. In a cutting compound, the abrasives are much larger and take away much more clear coat than a regular polish. So with that being said, when you're polishing a vehicle, you wanna take away the least amount of clear coat possible to still get the job done. So a lot of times you're probably wondering, is this a job where I can just polish or is it a job where I also need to cut? And the best way to find out is to test both. So behind me, we have a hood that has really bad etching, swirl marks, and even some etching from bird droppings that got really bad. This must have been sitting in a hot parking lot for a long time, probably at a car dealership, and no one noticed and cleaned it off. So we have two sections taped off here. On one of them, we're gonna use quick cut compound, and on the other, we're gonna use precision polish. But what we're gonna do first is make sure that we use precision polish because that's the less aggressive method of polishing. You always wanna start with the less aggressive method. So if you find out that that's all you need, you didn't cut through more clear coat than you have to. So we're gonna take this first section. I'm gonna use uh, precision polish. We're gonna see if that gets the job done. If it doesn't, then we're gonna do the second section and we're gonna use quick cut compound. This vehicle has already been washed and decontaminated. The reason you want to do that is because if you don't um, use like a clay bar to decontaminate, you could get little pieces of iron or rocks or, or debris stuck in the pad so that when you polish, it's stuck in your pad and is just making scratches everywhere when you're trying to polish. So this is nice and smooth. We cleaned it off, washed it, and it's ready to go. We're going to start on this first square with precision polish, and we're gonna see what it does in order to get rid of these, uh, these etching marks and paint swirls. All right, now as you can see, precision polish got rid of about 90% of the defects, but there's still some left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next square and we're gonna use quick cut compound. And I've got a feeling it's gonna get rid of 100% of the defects. So what I did was I switched out from the polishing pad to the cutting pad and put some quick cut compound on here. And we're gonna do the second square and see how different it comes out. As you can see, this top square is in much better shape. All the defects are gone except for a couple rock chips, but you can tell that these rock chips go all the way through the paint. You can't polish to get those out. They're just there forever. You can use touch-up paint to get rid of those, but you cannot polish them. So we've got all the defects here gone that are not rock chips. So we know that we need to use quick cut compound and we're gonna use that on the rest of the hood. Then we'll move to precision polish, then mirror finish, and this hood will look like it's brand new, aside from the rock chips that are there. So 
So now this is the door panel of that same vehicle. And as you can see, the paint defects are much less severe. It's really just light swirling. There's no etching from uh, water spots or bird droppings. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna start with precision polish and see if we can get all of the defects out this time. So as you can see, precision polish was enough to completely remove 100% of the defects in this scenario, which is great news because now we don't have to use quick cut compound and sacrifice more clear coat than we have to. So the moral of the story here is every time you polish, make sure you do different test areas so you don't have to sacrifice more clear coat than is needed to get the desired result.